Welcome back to Texas Eats. Now we're here in Stonewall to check out a vineyard and winery that's making some incredible products, including some great bites out of their bistro. And they have a tasting room where we get to go in and try a lot of different wine. Let's see what they're bottling up at Coleman Cellars. Joining us now is Molly Richardson. She is the tasting room manager. Thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for being here. And right behind us, we got all of the vineyard. I mean, this is just a section of it. Yes. Some of the grapes that are grown here on property. But talk to me about Coleman Cellars. How long has it been here? The vineyard's been here longer than the actual winery has been here. So we started planting in 2012. Uh, the winery opened in 2014. Uh, we have five varietals here on property. We do mostly southern French varietals. We have one Italian. Now you have, uh, looks like little like pruning tools in yes. your hand here. Were you doing some work over here? Yeah, so uh, this is uh, our Roussan vineyard block. Uh, just got finished up. You have to know what you're doing. You gotta know what you're snipping at. So what is the yes. goal when you're, when you're snipping? Like you don't wanna get too close, right? Yeah, so you wanna leave about two inches. You wanna leave two buds. So I don't know if you can see right here, that's a bud. Uh -huh. And that's a bud. That's oh. where our canes are going to grow out. That's where we're going to get the fruit from. So this is where it's grown. But now we're going to go into the production area and we're actually going to like sneak a little sips out of some barrels. Is that correct? Yes, yes. <laughs> We're going to um, use a wine thief. Oh, yes. Good, good, good. I am also a wine thief, so this yeah, is we're, great. We're all wine thieves. <laughs> good, good. Let's go check it out. Now we're in the cellar. And we have glasses that we have stumbled upon, and yes. you have a wine thief. This is a wine thief. This is our Ignis. Ignis is our really special wine that we only make in certain vintage years. So really, really great growing seasons. There we go. Perfect. All right. Okay. All right. All right. So cheers. cheers. Smell it. This is tasting really good. Well, I'll tell you what, I would totally just buy this the way it is. It's delicious, but I know that there's some more uh, maturity that can happen for, for the grapes in there, but you're delicious. I'm yep. looking forward to drinking you soon. Yep. But we're going to go into the tasting room now, and there's some already set up for us, right? And some bites. Yes, we got Bistro, and we can taste the 17 of the Ignis. Ooh, okay, let's do it. All right. Now we are in the tasting room, and I brought an element from our previous pruning um, exploration outside. This is actually an old vine. This is where the grapes would grow off of, and this is where they age in this process, right? Absolutely. And then now in front of us, you have some different samples of wine. You also have some bites, but talk to me a little bit about the tasting process. How does that all work? We call this our wine and food pairing. It is five small bites paired with five wines. Each bite is specifically made to pair with that wine, and we talk about you know, why wine and food works together, or maybe why it doesn't. So it's an educational tasting, it's a lot of fun, and uh, just a nice introduction. And very important, is this a glass of water? This is water. Water's okay. the most important part of wine tasting. That's right, yes. It's always good. Here, cheers to the water. Okay. <laughs> you're not supposed to cheers with water. Oh, you're not supposed it's to cheers with luck. water? Is it yeah. bad luck? Oh gosh, okay, grab, okay grab a red <laughs> wine. Okay, cheers with the red wine. Okay. Now, you actually have some bites prepared for us in the bistro area, where we're gonna dive into some more of the wine and take some bites. I'm super excited, because we've worked up an appetite now. We were pruning outside all day. Yes. Okay, well here, cheers again. Cheers. Is it bad luck to do it twice? Wine and food, no, no. we just have to drink now. Okay, now we have to drink. <laughs> All right, now we're here in the bistro. This is the area where you can come get your food, you get your wine, you can relax after a long day of walking around and enjoying yourself. So our roasted beet hummus is currently on our wine and food pairing. Hey, well, you gotta join me here. You yeah. gotta get one with me here. I'm, I'm gonna get a little bit. Cheers. Not take such a big bite on camera, right? <laughs> no, we can take big bites, that's what we do. So I want you to taste it with the estate rosé. That's what it's paired with. Oh yeah. Oh, that's super nice. It's slightly like fruit forward, but it's like savory and a great texture. I love the little crispiness from the chip that you have with it. And then the wine, it helps round it all out too. Yeah. That's fun. Yeah, and that's what wine and food pairing's all about. You also have some nuts here that you're very well known for. Talk to me about these. Aside from our wine, we are probably best known for our almonds. And these are made here in house. They are Herbe de Provence uh, Marcona almonds. And then which wine would you recommend with this? Always the Aluve. This is our 2019 Aluve. I think the best vintage of Aluve yet. Thank you so much for having us Thanks out for here. Being here. Holman Cellars, you guys have to check them out. Follow them on social media to learn all about the events that they have throughout the year. But thank you so much for having Cheers. us out here. All right, here's the almond. It doesn't get better than that. Yeah. All right, I'm going to eat this whole charcuterie <laughs> okay. board. Thank you so much. Thank you. Don't go anywhere.
anywhere. Texas Eats will be right back. 